We'd like to demonstrate how fast and easy it is to set up an enterprise-level Astrospace PBX system in 10 minutes, including coffee break. Our configuration consists of one SORCOM XE3056, an Astrospace standalone IP PBX with four PRI ports, three Astrobank XR008s with 32 FXS ports each, analog phones, and IP video phones. Let's get started. Here is the first unit, the XR0008, a 32-port FXS Astrobank. When you unpack it, you'll find this yellow reminder. Don't forget to register your SORCOM products to activate the free one-year product warranty. Each XR0008 supports up to 32 analog phones. In addition, each unit supports two output ports for electric door openers or similar appliances. Four input ports are also provided in each FXS Astrobank to allow interface to external systems such as a burglar alarm. Astrobank conveniently connects to the Astros server using a USB cable. Next, connect the power supplies. Double check that all USB connections are secure. See how the red status LEDs on the front panel are lit? Now that our Astrobanks are ready, it's time to add the server. All members of the SORCOM XE series, such as this XE3056, have an LCD panel that is useful for many installation and maintenance tasks. For example, the panel includes access to an internal backup and restore mechanism, allowing the system administrator to restore the PBX to factory default or to the last backup version at any time. We'll connect the server to the network and to a power source. If there are not enough USB ports available on the Astros server to connect the Astrobanks, a simple USB 2 hub can be used, such as this one that is provided by Torcom. Now it's time to power on the system. This is where the real magic starts. SORCOM's XPP USB 2 drivers are embedded in all standard asterisk distributions. These drivers enable the PBX to automatically detect the telephony ports. Benny has time for a quick coffee break while the system boots and automatically configures the four PRI lines and 96 analog ports. Each analog port is assigned a default phone number and line capabilities. The initialization process takes about a minute and is complete when we see all the system LEDs flash and the SORCOM text appears on the LCD panel. Now we'll connect the phones. Analog phones can be connected to the XR0008 Astrobank directly on the front panel. Alternatively, SORCOM offers a special telecom cable with 32 color-coded twisted pairs that routes the 32 FXS ports to the building telephony wiring crone. Although it is attached to the rear panel, the indication lights on the asterisk front panel remain active. All SORCOM IP PBX models support any standard SIP phone, SIP video phones, and IAX or X phones as well as soft phones. To install the IP video phones, we first connect them to the network. Now we'll use the LCD panel 
on the XE3056 to determine the PBX IP address. This will allow us to access the PBX via a browser in order to define the phone's SIP extensions. Now we'll attach our four PRI lines. Notice how the LEDs under each connected cable start flashing to indicate that the line is active. To determine which extension numbers have been assigned to the analog phones, we have attached to the FXS ports, we'll dial star 65. Now we can dial that extension from the other analog phone for testing purposes. Notice how each configured port has a line activity LED that lights up when the line is active and blinks when the line rings. You'll find this is a simple installation aid and a great debugging tool. Now it's time to test the video phones. Hi! Wow! New haircut? Yes! Thanks for noticing, Benny. What was it you wanted to talk about? And there you have it an enterprise-level Astrospace PBX system set up in 10 minutes, including a coffee break, 